Hey all, and welcome back to your channel. So I'm back at Anfield for my daily Anfield Road expansion update. It is voiceover time again because I forgot to turn my microphone on. Stupid, I know. So yeah, you're gonna have to bear with me. So it's just one of them things. Yeah, so I'll start off by doing a couple of mentions. Um, one was for Yeston, which is Welsh for Justin. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he's got his driving test on Wednesday, and his dad wants to wish him all the best. So, good luck, Yeston. You'll smash the driving test anyway. And another one was for Carl in Canada. Your son wanted to give you a mention. He said you moved to Canada... 20 years ago but you miss Liverpool and you like watching my videos um, not just of the grounds uh, you watch Bramley Moor and you watch videos of the city as well so yeah thank you for watching Carl and yeah I hope, I hope you're having a great time over there so the site wasn't well you know what it was fairly busy this morning to be fair there was a lot going on on the outside and there's even a tractor inside with that yellow thing on the back that I can't remember what it was used for people have told me I totally forgot what it's for yeah so the first guy I noticed was the one on the uh, just there right in front of me now on the lift he was bricking up the, the column and what I did notice was the I couldn't tell what that so he's but I can all the way up to there, which is he's nearly done now because it's quite far down yesterday. But I couldn't quite tell what them red things were, and I still can't. You know where it goes from red to white. What is that there? I can't quite work it out. So I'll leave him to it. Don't know what this was. This it looked like a big massive Henry Hoover, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, a Henry vacuum cleaner. I don't want um, people correcting me, telling me Hoover's a brand name. Then I just missed this lifting up. I, I just I thought it was a cherry picker. It's not a crane. It's like lifting up a load of bricks up there. There they are getting lowered down now. So you'll see later in the video. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. <laughs> you'll see a couple of lifts going up, and it looks like they're going to be the brickies. We're going to be using these bricks to brick up where it's white now just there it's quite windy as well today um, looks like it's going to throw it down at some point I was there at 9 o'clock-ish you see the, the, the netting around that those bricks are really blowing I wouldn't like to be working up there, no chance. It's probably time to crane drive just to just to drop it a, a touch. It's mad how they do all that up there. It really is crazy. As you can see, there's loads of brickwork going on. There's, I'm not quite sure what these are brickies like, but they're... No, they're not the working on the underside, are they? It's a shame I can't drop the, the drone down that far and like get into the nitty-gritty of it. Then on the blue lift here, there's more brickies. So there must be, this weekend must be really concentrating on getting, getting a brickwork done. They just 
securing the, uh, oh, I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm really just guessing. Then I noticed the tarmac here going in. I was like, what's this for? It's obviously not the road, is it? <laughs> Anfield Road, wide enough for one person to walk down. Oh, yeah. Um, don't know. But they're, they're really getting it down. And at this point, there was a, <laughs> there was a helicopter circling the grounds. Like going really low over the ground, like shall, shall I bring a good drone down or what? So it should be at this point now where I just try and find the the helicopter. It's like circling the ground, and I start to circle in the park, and it's getting lower and lower. So I first couldn't. I, I thought it was a police helicopter at first, and then you know, closer look, you can see it's air ambulance. So, I stick with the, this for a bit, guys. I stick with them. Um, trying to zoom in and track them at the same time. And I'll tell you what, the, uh, the frame rate's not doing too bad on the propellers on this. Obviously, it's spinning a little bit faster than that, like, but, you know... At least they're going round. Um, if you do a different frame rate, it'll still just stay still, and that's just like gliding through the air. So the drone hasn't done a bad, bad job with the frame rate. So at this point, it's it's gone over the car. I thought it was going to land in the car park in Stanley Park at first, because there was a um, Saturday league matches going on in Stanley Park and thought maybe a kid's been hurt, I'm not too sure. But I couldn't see any ambulances, I couldn't hear any sirens going, so I, I couldn't work else. And then it was it flew over the car park and it was getting further away then, so I thought, you know what, I'll stay with it. Because further down the road, it was a mile or so down the road, maybe a little bit more, is Brexard Park. And there might have been some football going on there. And I thought that's where it was landing. And it lands, it does land eventually. Um, facing Brexard Park. I think it's a school, I'm not too sure. Or an old people's home. But it's, I thought, you know what? I thought it was going down behind them trees there because I don't know, the, it was tricking me. So I got maximum height with the drone and I kept on it. See what was going on, see if we could see anything. Now, this is a mile plus away now. This, like, I've, I've been on loads of helicopters being in the army when you're in Northern Ireland. Getting a helicopter is like getting a taxi, you get them everywhere. So, watching this land, it just brought back loads of memories, you know, all, all the ground around it, just you know, going everywhere. You'd have your berry on, your berry would be flying <laughs> across the field when the, when the helicopter comes into land. You're off chasing your berry down the, down the field, trying to get it back on your head. Then get back to the helicopter. So you see, it's landed, and, I'm, and I can't see anything around it. I'm thinking, well, where's the instance? Which, this is about an hour later now, and I don't know what's going on. I haven't heard anything as of yet. But there's the first guy got out on the on left-hand side. So as I zoom out and try and have a, have a look. So that's the how far away I am from it. It's the left-hand side where you see the big green fields. That's Brexard Park. See, I'm above the car park, it's Stanley Park. That green field across from where it's landed is Brexard Park and some workers come over for a chat as well and I was showing them on the screen they said it's a school there because I'm not sure what was facing there I thought it was a whole, an old people's home but I thought you know what they're going to struggle walking wherever they need to walk big massive bag on the back 
Obviously, the helicopter's um, powering down now. I'm thinking, where, where, have, where have they got to walk to with all that kit? Then, next thing, here it is. Police car arrives. I thought it was a paramedic at first. Then, once it gets sad on, you can see it's a police car. Helicopter still powering down. And the yeah, ambulance guys get in the police car. Yeah, so if you heard anything, guys, or if you know anything of what's happened, let me know. And I'll vice versa. If I find anything else, I'll, I'll let you know. So there, uh, yeah. The blues and twos on on a police car, and off it goes to take them where to where they need to go. Now, bear in mind, I'm at maximum height here. That I'm allowed to go, and I start going up a bit more, and then realise I'm at maximum height. I can't, so I've had to go, I had to come straight back down again. Yeah, I was going to try and follow the police car where it's going, but yeah, couldn't. Air yeah, ambulance completely stopped. So yeah, it was a little bit of excitement in the park. It's just a shame we don't have the microphone on because you could hear it dead loud over me head. So I'll get back to the grounds. Bring it down a bit more now, can I? Because um, <laughs> I'm not following the helicopter anymore. But the forever stones don't seem to have changed much over the last couple of days. But around it you can see loads of groundwork going on so it's just basic landscaping i take it in isn't it if, if anyone knows any different let me know but i'm just guessing it's just you know getting it all level and stuff uh, looking neat and see look at look at all the tarmac that the lads have put down already you know they're just getting bat, uh, barrows of it from him um, tarmac and stuff and just throwing it down and landing it in, leveling it out with the rakes. But I'm wondering why tarmac there. Is there something else to go on now once it's down or what? Like paving stones? Don't know, again, if you know, let me know. So in the time of the helicopter there's another lift joins the two lads on the blue one I was thinking they're really close to them if they knock it's going to be a little bit of trouble there isn't there or is it just the angle of the, 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 the drone making it look that way surely they can't be that close but now it kind of makes sense that the lift is being used obviously they're going to be brickies doing this part here, aren't they? And that's why the bricks are on the roof. Yeah, so after staying on these for a little bit, I, I think, you know, there's not going to be a lot going on there, even because they're not even ready to start putting the bricks down, so we'll go and have a look over the grounds. Which, I know, between now and Wednesday, there's not going to be anything going on in here. Unless they start working on that corner between the, the Annie Roads and the main stands. But I can't see anything else happening. But I was surprised to see a tractor on there. Maybe that's just got to go on there every day to keep it level. I don't know. I say it's got that yellow thing on the back. And people have told me what it's for and I've totally forgot what it's for. But yeah, it wasn't doing a lot. No, it wasn't doing anything. Never mind, it wasn't doing a lot. It's all nice and level down there, and I just can't wait to see the, the, the turf going down now. Once the turf's down, as you know, you're getting there towards the, the, the end of the build. I thought I'll have a look at the corner, see if there's anything going on. And as you can see, nothing has gone on there. So, 
Gansy, not and gone on. But that little Gansy there that I was talking about yesterday, when I I've, I've been saying for weeks, um, I think it's a cameraman Gansy. It is because that red seat there is a swivel seat for the, for the cameraman to sit on. See it there. So he mounts his camera to it and he just swivels round, following the play. So that's definitely for the cameraman. It's a great little uh, spec for him as well. Look at it, brilliant. Wouldn't mind having a seat there myself. Yeah, so inside, nothing going on. So I'll come back on the outside. Now, if you can see down on the pad, there's a couple of lads and they're walking towards me. Have another look at the uh, the helicopter while they're walking towards me because I, I thought they were going to have a moan at me. That that's why I'm, I'm gutted that the audio's not on this now. Because at this point they're quite close now, and um, I say you come to help me, and they're, they're shaking their head, going, "Oh no, no." They, they're walking past, going sit on the bench and after dinner. That's all they were doing, but they would tell me quite a lot. Um, they, they went, what are you filming anyway? He said, I'm just filming everything that's going on. He said, well, you're not going to get a lot going on here today, mate. It's um, it's Saturday. <laughs> People don't like, don't like working on the Saturdays. But fair play to them. There is quite a lot going on on the ground. So they, they were kind of wrong. Now, they were working. I'm not going to say where they were working, but they saw the helicopter coming in, so they decided to have to break then and come down. And, uh, and I'm talking to them at this point. And, um, they said that Liverpool have got their own drones or the company have got their own drones to catch people not working. And I made it clear, I said, look, I said, I zoom in on people to, to see what's going on. If I see that there's nothing going on, I zoom straight back out, back out again because I don't want to get into any, anyone into trouble, which I don't. So um, they're looking at my screen at this point and they're, they're asking how the drone works and stuff, so I showed them and then, you know, I zoom in. And you go, oh yeah, that's what that's what Liverpool got. And then I mentioned about the time when um, people come out to kick off on me for flying a drone. He said, no, that that would be in Liverpool's drone, making sure that they were working. So, yeah, it was a uh, the weird one. So it turns out that Liverpool or oh, the company have got their own drone, but don't tell the workers because they want to cast them not working. Um, you know, sneaking off for the cigarettes on a roof somewhere or. What else did he say? If they're on the phones and not working or just skive, basic skiving. They've got their own drones sneaking around watching them. So, yeah. It's a known thing on site that either Liverpool or Buckingham have got a drone <laughs> spying on them. Like, mine is just for for me. It's to, it's to follow the build, which people know I'm following the build. I, I don't want to get into one trouble. I, not not once have I said, "Oh, look at him not working." Or look, you know, if I think someone's having a break, I will get off them as soon as I can. Yeah, I was showing the guys the, the, these bricks. Could, could, they were standing there for ages, you know, so they the proper scouts lads as well. And um, yeah, so I was showing them this and I was the. the the drone could zoom in, they, they, they were amazed by it. But I felt sorry for when he said, you know, about, you know, getting spied on by drones. Because I thought he meant, like, us at first, but it wasn't. It was the company or the people that have got their own drones that spy on them. Yeah. So again, another load of bricks to come down there. And how fast these brickies work as well, they're going to need a load of them up there, aren't they? Because when they get into ridden these brickies, they, 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 they don't have to throw them down. So this is where I come to the end of the video now, guys. Uh, this is where I do me, me final bit, saying about subscri um, subscribing, it's totally free, it doesn't cost you anything, I know people think it's a subscription that you have to pay for, you don't, it's totally free, 
so please subscribe it really helps me out. i've had a couple of hundreds in the last couple of days and it's really helped me out likes help me get the the reach out there and comments i always reply to them i like reading them okay they're always appreciated but apart from that look after yourselves and speak to us soon bye now